According to the Oxford Dictionary, an award is a prize such as money or etc. for something someone has done. An award is given in recognition of something unique that a person has done. An award is something each hunger for. There are various awards given in practically all fields out there, from writing to designs and creativity. What's more, there are a few awards totally odd in their viewpoints. They perceive some clever and uncommon accomplishments. For the past years, they have caught the world's eye and surprisingly enlivened contestants among individuals to win them or stay away from them. Here is a rundown of 10 of the weirdest awards all through the world. Number 10. Strange Ass Picture Book Awards The Strange Ass Picture Book Awards, or WAPBAs, are given to the books that make you go amazed and wonder why. Awards are given for story, outline, and cover craftsmanship. The highest honor goes to the image book accomplishing exceptional, unusual quality in both delineation and text. The WAPBAs were made in 2006 by a kid-lit blogger, Mother Reader. Number 9. IG Nobel Prize The IG Nobel Prize is a satirical prize granted yearly. The award commenced around 1991 to praise 10 uncommon or paltry accomplishments in scientific research. Its expressed point is to honor the accomplishments that first make individuals laugh and afterwards make them think. The name of the honor is a joke on the Nobel Prize which it spoofs and on the word ignoble. Coordinated by the scientific humor magazine Annals of Improbable Research, AIR, Nobel laureates present the IG Nobel Prize in a function of the Sanders Theater, Harvard University. They are trailed by the victor's public talks at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Sir Andre Jeem is so far the main individual to have gotten both a Nobel Prize and an IG Nobel Prize. He got awarded the IG Nobel in 2000 and the Nobel Prize in 2010, both in physics. Number 8. Shorty Awards The Shorty Awards, otherwise called the Shorties, is a yearly entertainment award ceremony acknowledging individuals and organizations that produce continuous short structured content across Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and the remainder of the social web. The yearly awards ceremony started in 2008 with awards for accomplishments on the Twitter community. From that point forward, the honors have acknowledged content creation on other social media platforms including Tumblr, Instagram, Vine, Snapchat, YouNow, and Periscope. The honors ceremony is held each spring and streamed live. Each award perceives the whole collection of work of the content creator for the scheduled year instead of a singular tweet or a post. A 2012 Forbes magazine article about the awards remarked that the shorties recognize that social media has gone past who has the most followers but is now in the age of enlightenment through contents that will define our generation. These contents are making a history of records. Number 7. Bent Spoon Award The Bent Spoon Award, established by Australian skeptics in 1982, is given to a person who creates and puts out a ludicrous claim of paranormal or pseudoscientific nature. The honor is given to the Australian resident or individual who perform their activities on Australian soil. The champ of the debut award was Psychic Tom Wards. The honor prize, yet to be seen by anybody, is professed to be comprised of a piece of wood from Noah's Ark on which a spoon that was used in the Last Supper is attached. The spoon is bent by some phenomenal energy and gold-plated by the Atlantean process and the winners of this award must get the prize by paranormal means. This task has not been accomplished to date. Number 6. Diagram Award The bookseller Diagram Prize for the Oddest Title of the Year, initially known as the Diagram Group Prize for the Oddest Title, and generally known as the Diagram Prize, is a funny scholarly honor that is given yearly to a book with a strange title. The prize is named after the Diagram Group, a data and graphics organization situated in London, and the Bookseller, a British trade magazine for the publishing industry. Originally coordinated to entertain people during the 1978 Frankfurt Book Fair, the prize has been since granted each year by the bookseller and is currently coordinated by the magazine's diarist, Horace Bant. The champion was at first chosen by a panel of judges. However, starting around 2000, the winning title has been chosen by a public decision on the bookseller's site. Living with crazy buttocks, bomb-proof your horse, cooking with poo, oral sadism, the vegetarian personality, and the joy of chickens are some of the winning titles. Over the years, a lot of controversies have emerged since the making of the honors. There have been two events where no honor was given because no titles were decided to be sufficiently odd. 
Bend has moaned about some of the winning titles picked by General Society and the 2008 champion, the 2009 to 2014 World Outlook for 60 milligram containers of fromage phrase was very much questionable because instead of being composed by its record creator Philip M. Parker, it was rather composed by a machine of Parker's creation. The latest champ in November 2020 was a dog pissing at the edge of a path. Animal Metaphors in Eastern Indonesian Society by Gregory Fourth. Number 5. Golden Collar Awards The Golden Collar Awards take a resemblance to the Academy Awards, just they are presented to dogs, canines. It was made in 2012 by the website Dog News Daily to acknowledge the best canine entertainers. The honors are given in five classifications each year. The Maiden Golden Collar Awards gave the first class reception for the dogs on the 13th of February 2012 in a lavish hotel in the Hyatt Regency Central Plaza in Los Angeles, before a crowd of people made only of the press. The prize has been made by architect Simon Tavasoli. It's a sculpture that represents an Italian leather collar with installed sparkling Swarovski gems. The award ceremony is likewise patterned after the Oscars. Number 4. Ernie Awards the Ernie Awards, or the Ernies, are Australian honors for remarks considered sexist. They are held yearly. The award takes its name after previous Australian Workers' Union Secretary Ernie Ecob, known for his sexist comments. One of his most famous or infamous comments was, ladies aren't welcome in the shearing sheds. They are only after the sex. This is the reason why a sheep is on top of the Golden Ernie. The debut awards night was to celebrate his resignation from the Labour Council of New South Wales. A supper is held for 300 ladies every year and the champion is discovered by the individual who gets the most booing when their misogynistic proclamation or action is read out. An assortment of classes have been highlighted in the award ceremony, for example, the Gold Ernie, the Warney, for a sport named after Shane Warne, the Media Ernie, the Political Ernie, the Judicial Ernie, the Good Ernie, for young men with improving behavior once called the Gareth after Gareth Evans, the Elaine, for females offering remarks pointless to the sisterhood, named after Elaine Nile, and the Trump, for habitual perpetrators. The classes of guilty parties have changed throughout the long term as indicated by Merith Bergman. An assortment of remarks have been gathered in the book of 1,000 Terrible Things Australian Men Have Said About Women by Meredith Bergman and Yvette Andrews. Number 3. Stinky Shoe Award The sneaker contest started in 1975 to aid a neighborhood outdoor supply store to sell shoes. This contest later developed into a public occasion in 1988 when odor eaters took over sponsorship of the occasion. Presently, it has aged into a definitive trial of exactly how hostile shoes belonging to kids ages 5 and 15 can get. Shoes were decided on the state of the sole, tongue, heel, toe, bands or velcro, eyelets and grommets, in general condition and generally significant smell by a board. 15-year-old Ben Russell from Alaska and his broken down and smelly size 7 Nikes won the 33rd yearly National Odor Eaters Rotten Sneaker Contest March 19, 2008 in Montpelier, Vermont. He beat down seven different challengers from Michigan, Utah, Georgia, California, New Jersey, Vermont, and New Mexico to get back the fabulous prize of 2,500 bucks. Number 2. Golden Raspberry Awards The Golden Raspberry Awards, likewise referred to as Razzies and the Razzie Awards, is a spoof award show regarding the most exceedingly awful of cinematic underachievements. Established by the UCLA film graduates together with Entertainment World veterans John J.B. Wilson and Mo Murphy, the Razzie Awards sarcastic yearly ceremony has started before its opposite, the Academy Awards, for quite some time. The actual statuette is a golf ball-sized raspberry on a ruined Super 8mm film reel shower painted gold with an expected street value of $4.97. The Golden Raspberry Foundation has guaranteed that the honor empowers notable movie producers and first-class entertainers to own their terrible acting. The main Golden Raspberry Award service was held on March 31, 1981 in John J.B. Wilson's family room niche in Hollywood to respect the most exceedingly awful movies of the 1980 film season. Right up till the present time, Sylvester Stallone is the most granted entertainer ever with 10 honors won, while Madonna is the most granted entertainer with 9 honors. 
Although not many actors come to claim their award, I mean, who would? It gladdens me that some can accept the award in good humor. Number 1. Big Brother Awards The Big Brother Awards BBAs acknowledge the public authority and private sector associations which have done the most to undermine and infringe individual privacy. They are coined from the George Orwell's character Big Brother in the novel 1984. They are granted yearly to people, organizations, associations, and authorities acting especially and reliably to compromise or disregard individuals' privacy or reveal individuals' very own information to outsiders. The honors are planned to cause the public to notice protection issues and related disturbing patterns in the public arena, particularly in information security. The contest is coordinated by a loose coalition of non-governmental organizations, including Lariticum Remedium, Privacy International, and others, albeit some public-level BBAs are coordinated by explicit sponsors. The German Big Brother Awards are coordinated and facilitated by Digital Courage and Bielefeld. The United States most recently hosted its Big Brother Awards, otherwise called the Orwell Awards or essentially the Orwells, on the 14th of April 2005 in Seattle, Washington. They had recently been hosted in Cambridge, Massachusetts on the 7th of March 2001, San Francisco, California on the 18th of April 2002, New York City on the 3rd of April 2003, and Berkeley, California on the 12th of April 2004. The maiden yearly U.S. Big Brother Awards were made at the Computers Freedom and Privacy Conference of Washington, D.C. on 7th of April 1999, the 50th commemoration of the publication of Orwell's 1984. The honors were made by Simon Davies, overseeing director of the London-based Privacy International, to acknowledge the public authority and private sector companies that have done the most to attack, infringe, and undermine individual privacy in the United States. The honors were given in five classes, Greatest Corporate Invader, Lifetime Menace, Most Invasive Program, People's Choice, and Worst Public Official. We hope that you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications about all of our future videos. Till next time, bye!